Okay, guys, it's time to take a bit of a deeper dive into the Smith <clears throat> to hone in on this tuning business. So I haven't run this yet. I don't know. I have in the past. I can't remember what it is. But we're going to go open circuit with just the earth ground in the proper location. No load to find the resonant frequency of this circuit. And from that point, we're going to take our next steps. So let's take a look. Open circuit, 12 watts. We're running at a resonant frequency of 16 kilohertz. Okay, great then. 16.8 kilohertz. Now, we want to find the right capacity, whatever I want to use, match it with the right resistor for that frequency, slam it on there, AC or DC. I think that's the next step. So I'm going to go and calculate the 16.8 kilohertz and find out what kind of a resistance I need and what kind of a capacitance I need. And this is about probably in this configuration 4,000 volts per side. Um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Somewhere in there, if I turn it up, it's well over 12 kV aside. So 24 kV, real easy. So uh, these caps, I'll probably put two of them together in series, midpoint them, but won't ground it. So then I've got 40 kV potential on my cap at half a UF, 0.5 microfarads. And then I would match that resistance to bring me right into the 16.8. That cap then at half a microfarad should be in resonance at 16 kilohertz. And... Uh, then, once it's in resonance and operating, we could use that smaller cap I showed you with the right capacitance to cause a transformer action between this capacity and that one. And in that process, if we reduce it four times in voltage, we're going to increase our amps four times in resonance. Then we rectify directly into something like that or this. That's what I get. So, we're going to uh, attempt to match some resistance next and plug a cap on there. Ciao.